Yo guys, it's Coach. Welcome back to the Creation Station. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute, had a very busy couple of weeks, but we've got a fun video for you guys today. We are in here and we've got a little project going. As you can see, you can probably tell, we're gonna be building our own putting green. I was gonna get a custom one installed here, but that's a little bit too permanent. We're only gonna be in this studio for maybe another year or two. Once we get a more permanent space, then we'll get a cool little custom putting green and we'll go crazy with it. But I figured this would be great. It'll open up a lot of opportunities for me, a lot of different shots I'll be able to hit. And uh, I'm excited. So I'm going to show you the exact process. I'm going to show you every step of the way so that maybe this might inspire you to build your own. It's relatively inexpensive and it should be a pretty easy project. We've got a six by 12 piece of turf here. That'll be the dimensions of the putting green. So we're going to have to get this cut down to the correct dimensions. We will throw some plywood on top uh, and then we will get this turf on top. I think we're going to go turf straight to wood. We were going to do a little padding underneath it uh, so it could receive balls a little bit better. It's still an option. We might make a trip to Home Depot. We might not. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. This is my first project of this sort. So we're, we're, we're learning together, baby. So let's just, let's just get into it. It's going to be a good day here at the Creation Station. What? First thing I'm going to do is just double check that we're at about six feet. So that's actually 72 and a half. That's also 72 and a half. 72 and a half. It's really important to know because when we go to build this green, we want it to be perfect. We want it to fit nice and snug. Um, we want to, you know, be able to stretch it out a little bit. We just want it to be nice and tight. So good to know that that's 72 and a half. I'm glad I measured it because if I didn't, I probably would have been screwed. We want the whole width to be 72 and a half, right? So we're going to cut these boards down to 69 and a half light. 69 and a half inches is here. Once this board comes on, that'll bring it to our 72 and a half. All right, 69 and a half. Okay, we've got everything cut down to 69 and a half. Looks good. Um, now we've got our ratchet driver. We've got two and a half inch gold screws. They're just construction screws. I start uh, with this side here. We're actually gonna get the box filled out first. And then once the box is set up, then we can start bringing in our cross support. So here we go. Beautiful thing, baby. Beautiful thing. Okay. Hopefully, yes. That's what you want right there. How about that? We've got each of the cross support boards going 18 inches apart, which should be enough support. We do have these little pieces right here that we could put vertically in there, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. I think you're gonna have any dips in there. Honestly, we're mainly using this thing for chipping anyways and slam dunks and cool trick shots, but um, we're gonna screw these in. Two screws per board each side. Let's get it. I'm gonna do the top screws for each board on each side. We're gonna start this side, then we're gonna go to the other side, and then we're gonna slowly work our way in. I like to kind of keep it even in everything I do. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and throw the bottom screws in on the rest of them. You don't really need to see that part, pretty straightforward. But other than that, we're looking good. Okay, so. This is typically the point in the show where you'd love to have a table saw, but we don't. So we've got a four by eight board here. We've got three of them. All three of them will be laid straight across it, but we got to cut them down to about 72 and 5 eighths in terms of length. I don't know if it's gonna be a perfect cut, but honestly, it doesn't have to be. 72 and 5 eighths is where we're gonna mark it. Okay. 
Okay. Seven two and five eighths. Seven two and five eighths. And seven two and five eighths. Now we gotta cut that shit. There has to be support there. We're gonna have to fix that. Let's get this next one cut and then we'll just add support. This is gonna be tight. It's a perfect little size putting grip. It's perfect. Work on your you know, 10, 12 footers, a couple six footers. Maybe put some shims underneath the turf, get some breaks in there. Who knows? It's gonna be cool. Okay, so not necessarily a mistake, but just a sure sign that I'm very much out of practice on this. I should have placed my support beams based upon where the seams are for the plywood. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I didn't do it. So we had to go get a couple more two by eights and um, we'll just put them on those seams and then we should have plenty of uh, support and it shouldn't really dip too bad. We also got some one by eight here. We got a 12 foot board and a six foot board. Uh, so that we can create a border on half of the uh, putting surface, which is great. So the ball won't roll off and it'll probably just look a little bit cleaner as well. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. time. Platform's done. Next, we're gonna put the turf on it. One, to see how it fits. Two, to see how it feels. We'll throw a couple balls on there, get a feel for if it can receive balls well. This is actually six by 13. I got it a little bit long, just in case we need to cut any pieces, shim any corners or anything like that. Um, just a safety safety net, safety foot, you know? But I just wanna kinda see how it looks and how it feels. Shit, it's actually gonna be really good. <laughs> it's perfect. Let's go. Got a real ball here. Let's just see the rollability. Oh yeah, I mean that feels really good. Like I said, I'm gonna be hitting shots into it sometimes, and I just want to make sure the ball's not bouncing super high. So that's why we wanted to possibly think about dampening it with a, a little rubber mat under it. This is. Here, let's test it out. This is just a uh, little squishy practice ball. Throw it up in the air like I would hit it with a back spin. I mean, that's doable. It's fine. All right, this is a foam one, foam golf ball. Up in the air, back spin. I mean, that's basically what you're going to get anyways, okay? Ping pong ball with back spin. And we missed. <laughs> Try that one more time. Oh, I like that. 
So ping pong balls get used a lot in the creation station. So we might actually be hitting a ton of ping pong balls. And you might be able to get some backspin and make it zip back, which would be a lot of fun. All right, real ball. Let's see, it's gonna be loud. Okay, so see that? Not a lot of spin because I'm throwing it with my hand, but also it's not gonna get that much spin because we're not gonna be hitting it that hard with a real ball. Let's try again. Like what if it's just like a low chip shot? Fine. This wasn't des this isn't designed to be like a tour, you know, coaching studio putting green. This is designed to just so we have some targets so we can do some fun videos with it. I think it's perfect. I think we're gonna leave it. I don't I don't think I need to put any matting underneath it. It I mean when you actually step on it, it feels pretty soft. It doesn't feel firm. It's actually really nice. So I'm gonna cut some holes into this plywood and then we're gonna get this uh this put on here and then uh, we'll put up the borders on the two sides and cut the holes, put the cups in and We'll have, a, we'll have a little putting green. It'll be, be cool. So let's do it. Let's finish it up. Let's see if they, it fits in there. Um, we've got a four inch cup, which is just temporary. The only reason I don't want four inch cups is just because it's so freaking shallow. Um, and I like to hit a lot of shots where I do slam dunks, but you can't really dunk it in a four inch cup. The ball will pop right out if it's a real, go any golf ball, really. It's just gonna pop right out. Maybe if you have a flag in it, but I just wanted to get some to use temporarily until we switch them out. Um, and also just to make sure that this works. So here's the moment of truth. We used a four and a quarter inch drill there. Oh yeah. And then as it gets to the top, it gets a little bit tighter and you just kind of pop it in. And you want to leave a little bit above the lip because the turf sits up a little bit off the plywood, right? So you don't want it to be exactly level. Yeah, I would say that's probably, you know, without squeezing it about a quarter quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch almost. So I think it'll be uh, good if we just leave it about an eighth of an inch above. So that looks pretty good. Feels pretty level all the way around. And there we go, we got our first one done. Sick. All right, a couple more. Yo, you know what I'm thinking? Paint, it's in the canvas. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hammer it down, see if it holds it. Um, honestly, anything I can do to not glue, I'd like to do. I just gotta avoid this screw right here. It's nice and in the corner. Instead of gluing it like we were actually going to do, I decided to actually use masonry nails 
of all things. Uh, and we really just tightened it as much as we possibly could. Used masonry nails on each corner and around the perimeter. We buried the nails down in there pretty well. You can't even see them. I would say it's, it's pretty darn good. It's not like as tight as, as it could be. It could be, there's a couple spots, but this is only where you're gonna walk on, where it's a little loose, but like it's not gonna move, and the putts that we're gonna be putting to, they roll very true. So I'm stoked with it. Right now, we're wrapping the turf around the face here, and we're trying to cut it off with this carpet knife. And um, I'm, I'm, I've never cut carpet before, but we're working on it, so hopefully, we can get it dialed. I think I'm good with that. <laughs> okay, we didn't cut that one great, but It'll work. We're done. All right, folks, the putting green is complete. I'm pretty pumped on it. I think it looks really good. We'll just vacuum it off, make sure it's nice and green and clean. Uh, we're gonna tighten up this front part of it here, but ultimately, like, pretty pumped. I'm pretty proud of myself. I knew it wasn't gonna be too hard to put it together. I think anyone can do this. Hopefully this video helps inspire you to build one of your own. It literally only took me a few actual hours of work. We kept it under probably 600 bucks total. So, I mean, dude, I'm working on, you know, 10, 12 footers and chip shots in my own place for, for cheap. So we've got to roll a putt on it. We've got to roll our first putt to a cup. We're gonna go straight from here and roll. It's probably about 11 and a half feet. Let's see if we make the first inaugural putt on the, on the putting green. Here we go, we've got the uh, Sky to Cameron Red X. Uh, this putter my dad got me when I was 16. I putted okay with it growing up. Kind of fell out of love with it, but maybe it'll do me some, some justice on the first putt here. Let's see. Oh, I'm nervous. Come on, make your first putt. Make it. Bam! We lift out. <laughs> I actually kind of like that I missed my first putt because if you make it and it, everything follows to the hole, it's too easy. So we're just going to stroke it. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. This would be a good hole for drills to kind of work on pace and not leave it too far past the hole. Obviously, you don't want to leave it short, but if you could get it just to die right in there. Oh, God. Dude, I'm about to be freaking lights out on the flat stick here, all right? It's two in a row. Oh, I pushed it, I pushed it. Great feedback, see? I knew I pushed it and it rolled true in this left, so. Can't really beat it, this is sick! Let's freaking go! Let's go, we got putting green. We can just work on the flat stick all the time now. Oh, sick. That is so sick. We get. We get, we get backspin. I'm very excited that we have this done. It's gonna open up a lot of opportunities for me on social media. We'll be able to practice our putting. We can hit some chip shots. We can just all around get better at golf and get better at creating fun content. So just a nice little addition to the creation station. Um, and I'm really excited for all the stuff we're gonna be doing here in the future. It's gonna be good. Simulator's next. That's next. Once we get that in, we're dialed. We're just gonna freaking have a great golf hangout. I'm pumped. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video about making a putting green. Hopefully you make a video about a putting green for yourself that I can also watch and like because you're gonna like this video too. Okay, goodbye.